Hey Mustangs, today's demonstration is for our future ready value studio. We are going to practice drawing an apple from observation using a contour line. A contour line is an outline of an object. Make sure you write that down under your future ready section of your checklist. A contour line is an outline of an object. So I'm going to start with the contour and then I'm going to add in some value. We're going to be using charcoal today. It is a little messy but we are using the pencils and I have provided a sharpener in case you need to sharpen your charcoal at any point as it is a very soft material and will break easily. I should go up a little more. So I'm looking at my apple more than I am at my paper. So I'm really literally going around the apple. That's what I just drew. You can't quite tell it's an apple yet. So now I'm going to go in the inside and adding some lines, shapes, and things of that nature, and then eventually value. I'm going to draw very lightly where the highlight is. So that way I remember to stop putting in my value. And this actually, this apple has a lot of shine today. So there's a lot of different sections that are going to be super light. Okay, from there I can actually start building my apple. So down here at the base it's going to be very dark. Oh, see, and I just broke my sharp pencil. So I resharpened the pencil, but I also brought over some homemade charcoal that I did in a training this summer to kind of show you guys some other ways you can use charcoal. So charcoal is very soft, like I was saying earlier. So your dark, dark areas you would start with. And I'm coloring in the direction of the shape. I'm not coloring left to right or up and down because that's just not the shape of an apple. So this is my homemade charcoal. We collected all the different twigs ourselves and put them in a fire and then out came the charcoal. So I kind of want you guys to see the difference. This charcoal is a lot softer as you can see as evidenced by how fast it covers the space, right? So, using vine charcoal, which is what this is called, covers your space a lot faster, but it won't ever be as dark as what's called compressed charcoal. That's what's in the pencils, and some of your um, drawing boxes have compressed charcoal. Sometimes it's in a stick, and it looks kind of like chalk, but it's actually charcoal that's been compressed or pushed down so that there's more of it. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of leave it like this. You can use your finger, but you can also use the blending stumps I provided to kind of blend it in and see how far it goes. So this charcoal goes pretty far, the softer vine charcoal, to just kind of go right up to that edge. And then you can just kind of barely, barely fill it in. I always um, like to go back over my drawing after I've blended it and kind of make my outlines darker again to really define and refine it. So I'm going to do that now.